Um, I honestly don't know. Let's find out. Uh, it looks like these are swaps. Thomas. I don't know. How do you do that? So, starting on special, and we're having. <laughs> and no. Nathan Pineapples is not the villager. But we are, currently, All right. we are currently fixing it. We're back. With the perfectly spaced. There we go. Tag. All right. And we're good. Looks like we're starting out on Smashville. And yes. Mika has a sizable lead. Nathan's having a bit of a hard time getting it. Yep. That was a good kid. Looks like Nathan's in a ledge trap position, but Villager's pretty good on the ledge, having Lloyd forward air from ledge. Yeah, wall jump. Yeah, he can stall you up a lot there. And Mario can't two frame with his spike, unfortunately. Uh, we left that out earlier. So he's going to have to rely on a down smash at ledge on a re-grab or a reflector of a Lloyd. Yeah. That was a good recovery. Ooh. And two, gosh, that was good coverage. Good ledge trap. That would have caught jump, get him attack. Mika yeah. started. And, and he, was, he was like, oh my gosh, that was a ton of damage. Okay, so Mika's, Mika's has controlling played. neutral really, really well. Strong control of the center of the stage. Nathan just wants to wild the fuck out, the friend good out. Cover, cover. Nice good carry. carry, good carry. A scary, good roll, but wow. Mika reads it. It's well done. Yeah. Good, good Mika's coverage on the ledge has been really, really good for that tree. He uses the water to slide back to cover roll. Mm. Both of the kills he's gotten have been a ledge. Which might not bode well for Nathan Mario. Oh wait, this tag is totally wrong. Ah, Nathan Mario. Yeah. So it's so Nathan Mario versus Washington D Sports Mika. A battle of the century, truly. Good wait. But Nathan likes to duck with Mario. Um, he's not quite sure himself why. Um, he has not watched The Art of Mario, which I don't know if that's a thing or not. But he was saying that he needed to watch it. Oh, oh, and he gets the fair. Solid, solid, and back? he can make he it does. back. All right, this is very doable. He just needs to get, like, two oh, combos. He's, he's on the ledge again. He returns back to stage safely. All right, down tilt. Nair, interesting roll read. Um, gets okay. caught. So Villager likes to throw out the Lloyd rocket and then read your jump with the forward air. So you have to either carry the Lloyd or mix up your timing. Mainly. Yeah, or or they'll they'll short hop Lloyd and then try to win. Yeah, yeah, it's right. like a mix up. Yeah, fifty fifty. It's like Lloyd's Mika. really tough because the hitbox doesn't get active for like for forever. So it's really easy to think that you can just like shield it immediately and then get in, but it'll like delay and then. Now we'll see yeah, if Nathan wait. switches to the Pichu or if he sticks by his gun. Stick into the Mario. That's respectable. Nathan Mario does not play Pichu. Nathan Mario plays Mario. I guess Mika just didn't like the idea of playing Villager. I guess a secondary. Or maybe he's just trying to figure, maybe he's just trying it out. Yeah, he's taking this as an opportunity to test out a new matchup that he probably hasn't played often. Yeah. Um, which is smart. It's smart. Because uh, I'm sure Nathan also hasn't played this matchup very much. However, Nathan does have an Olimar. Um, so he does know some of the tricks that Olimar is going to try to... Sure. I mean, Al. Al. Yes. Cool. Completely different game. Yeah, Nathan. so d does, does he really know this matchup? He has, a, he has an Olimar. This is Al. That's He's true. That's true. Well, it looks like he knows the matchup pretty well as he's able to keep Olimar at the ledge. Yeah, and he's been keeping him disadvantage, so Miga hasn't been able to pull Pikmin since the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. And he excellent up smash. Mika was a little scared there, something or other. Um, but now he's in a ledge trap situation of his own. Let's we'll see what he does with it. Also, I wonder if we'll ever see the the crazy reflect mechanics with the Pikmin. Uh, what does that entail? I remember Mario, Nathan Mario. I don't, I don't know if it goes out. for all like reflects, but I remember I saw um, someone use uh, Makara Karn, the Joker counter, yeah. on a Pikmin throw, and then he went for the pick. The Olimar went for a down air, and it spiked him like Olimar. Oh, that's kind of sick. And then they labbed it, and it Speaking does. Speaking of sick, Nathan's Mario. Yes, he is. 
doing very well. We're not sure if. And he's gonna go for a forward air at ledge. He's gonna go for a couple up smashes at ledge. Going for a lot of the capes. I'm calling it here. Nathan kills with an up smash. Uh, or a forward air. Probably an up smash. All right, Mika's got a chance. Good up there. Olimar has crazy damage output with the right Pikmin combo. Um, already at around 20. Doesn't have the best lineup right now. It's and decent. White can deal a ton of damage. Look, he's at 60 now. Yeah. Although Nathan has been doing a good job of caping and just like getting him disadvantage so he has the time to get, get him off. Now Olimar's pretty light, but not light enough there. And caping killed the purple, which is important. Now the up smash. Yeah. Got rid of Monique. Is that the AirPods one? Monique is the purple one. Yeah. Thick. Yeah. All right, Nathan has kept himself an advantage for most of this game. Looks strong. Oh, however, dies to the purple up smash. Mika definitely has a chance to turn this whole shebang around. Nathan doing a really good job at the beginning to keep the disadvantage. But Looks now, like he's getting a little desperate. Yeah, but now, now Mika has a really good line lineup. Oh, and he's living. And he still has the chance to use it. It's quite off stage, and Nathan does like to go for those forward airs. Where he chooses I was, to be I was afraid that the weight from Monique would keep him down. Yeah. And Clean. the game ends with the back. It was closer than it seemed at first. Nathan yeah. was kind of... He could almost pulled out the reverse three stock. It would have been impressive. However, looks like we're going to be going back to Villager Mario. And I, I'm <laughs> I've seen the last five games on stream have been Smash Bros. So, interesting. I guess it's a lot of yeah, Smashville is the boring stage. Hot and we're seeing Nathan's Pichu come out. Oh, Nathan drops the Mario for game three. It looks like he's... I'm. It looks like I'm disappointed. What's up? Okay, do you want to take over? All right, Rumi has to go play his match, so we're getting Slow Dancer on commentary with me. All right. All right. Have you been watching? Yeah, I've been watching okay. a little bit. So Just a little bit in and out. So some very like interesting character switches. Yeah, there's a lot of character. Oh, you picked Pichu. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how this matchup really goes because I know like Pichu's obviously really good, but like I don't know how well Villager zones out. Uh, yeah. Pichu. Well, it's because like you. The thing is that like Tijol is still gonna gonna get him a lot of mileage because he can only pocket one. Yeah. And throwing it back at him isn't gonna really do anything. Yeah, it's true. But it's like has. Ooh, the fair drag down. D yeah. tilt. Dare. Yeah, you got DI out for those. Um, I will say like some of like Pichu's like not really true combos, but like you know like there's like non-true strings. Like, yeah. Villager can just nair out of it, and it's pretty relatively like safe. Player, whatever. But um, I should like affect the smash. Though. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of interesting. We like played we played all three games here. So maybe there's general things to it. Yeah. So yeah, if if Nathan just waits for the nair though, it's like not very good. It's, yeah. It's committing to it. And also, I can see Nathan's holding shield against Loiter a lot to try and like wait for an option, because a lot of times villagers will throw out Void and then try and follow with an aerial. And we see a mid-game taunt right there as he yeah. ties <laughs> the taunt <laughs> to get body ball, combo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that jab's really good actually. Not as good as Smash Four jab. Smash Four no. jab was silly. But, uh, he tries to go for it again, but gets no for it. Yeah, no, the problem with that. For against Pichu that he can leave Dare out pretty much like with balloons as he's sitting his box. Yeah, and I saw, we saw earlier that uh, the balloons got out after he hit the ledge and he yeah. just dared and the hitbox is out for forever. Yeah, which is really rough. Yeah, the balloons are silly. And the thing is, if, if he tries to wave it out, like he just. Yeah. Or like he just gets hit by that tilt. He has, like, he has to like come into like rolling over. Oh, and another wow. F smash to just raw and neutral. I think that would kill it. The last, okay. hit of the last hit of air. All right. That's all you need. Yeah. So, so even the game. Pretty, yeah. pretty close to the game. It's best of three still, so that's going to be a tight battle. Ooh, yeah. That's Caught him on the damage. Yeah. That's a lot Honestly, I was thinking, Rapid Jabs are really good against Pichu. You get so much, like, you get so much damage, and Pichu's, like, quote, unquote, health bar is pretty, pretty low, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you, don't need, you don't need much to get the kill. Yeah. Ooh, up. That was Ooh, that was, that was a little dangerous. That was very, uh, very dangerous. Yeah, and we see the Void with the aerial follow-up. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's dead. And he's dead because of the balloons. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so. All right.
right. Nathan with the reverse 2 0. Mario. Mari Mari Chu. <laughs> Mari Chu. Yeah. No, it's yeah, okay. No, it's okay. Go for that win, bro. Yeah, no, you did. All good, dude. I should have yeah. done that last.